In today's video, we're finding Yu-Gi-Oh's most expensive current card for cheap. What's up guys, we're back with another Asian English opening. So we have Age of Overlord, which was a very, very popular set in the TCG. It's very hard to get a hold of. The boxes are insanely priced right now. A case is like $1,600, $1,700, which they started like 700. So they've gone up like over 100% from their original price. And the reason is there's a lot of really big cards one being the SP Little Knight. And the cool part about the Asian English version is rather than being secret rare like in the TCG, you get it in super rare in the Asian English boxes. So before we search for more SP Little Knights, we'll be giving away a box of this set. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you think about these Asian English Yu-Gi-Oh sets? And uh, do you think that we should do it the way Asian English does? I think they uh, have it a little bit of a different setup, but we'll find out as we go through. All right, so before we open this up, let's take a look. Uh, the differences that we have in the Asian English versus the regular English is, I mean, you got a lot of info there. It's kind of a weird look. It just looks like a little, doesn't really fit the box aesthetic there, but interesting. We have th oh, 30 packs in a box. So the other day I thought it was 24. I didn't actually look on the uh, creation pack opening. Go check that out. And it uh, looks like it is not 24, it's 30 packs. And by the way, if you guys want to get any of this Asian English Age of Overlord, go check it out down below. I have an affiliate link with Sassy Auto. Go see if you guys want any. Pick it up. This should be a pretty fun set. All right, and also, by the way, you get a bonus pack. So I wonder if that's what it is. There's a toke. Wait, is that toke? He ripped that out. Wait a second. Time out. Wait a sec. Look at this. Look at this. I didn't notice this in the other one, but there's a token made out of the box. That's insane, actually. Okay. So here and then here you get your neuron. You get your not neuron, the uh, uh, dual links and master. I think neuron was on the outside. Where is it? Where is it? Neuron. There you are. Yu-Gi-Oh! Neuron app. So that if you don't know what the neuron app is, it, it, like if you duel and you want to like calculate life points, you can do it on there and other things like die rolls, coin flips, stuff like that. Okay. And then let's see what there is inside. Ultras 14, 18 super rares, 25 rares, normal. 63 cards which is commons in the asian english 14 cards available as ultimates and 14 and 18 supers available as quarter century and secret rares so very cool very cool and i look i'm already liking this setup better i mean you get extra packs you get a token in the box which is like i mean who's gonna use it it's not that great but it looks really awesome it's just cool that you can like pull it out of the box and then the promo pack here the bonus pack let's see what's in here real quick before i go to the next one gotta remember to do the pull tab here we go one pack one card is the performer pal celestial magician so pretty cool stuff right there i'm loving this token that's freaking hilarious okay so let's get that out let's get out this next box see what we get cut it open i think i might have already cut that open that was a little too easy Okay, we got another uh, got another token in here, which is so funny. I mean, this is hilarious that you can just rip these sides off if you want. Just, you know, a little bit of that. Boom, you got yourself a token. Very awesome. All right, so 60 packs to be open. That's not nothing. So we're going to be going pretty quick today. Try to get through these. But, uh, oh, man, that feels like a good one. Superstar Slayer Typhon Sky Crisis. Yeah, that's a huge card in the TCG. It's also, it looks like it's the same rarity, both ultras in uh, TCG and in our set. So TCG and in Asian English. So there we go. Uh, let's see how many different rarities there are. Because, like, the wanted stuff is really big for us. Exceed the pendulum. Wasn't exceed the pendulum a secret too? All right, this is really interesting, actually. There's a lot of interesting differences here. So maybe they made it more like the OCG where it's a little bit easier to pull the good cards. Uh, so the rarities are a little bit more accessible. You know, SP being a super. Then you have the potential like to pull something out of those promo packs, which I really should read that promo pack, see what it says on there. Tilting Entrainment, we have Infernal Flame, Banshee. That I feel like used to be a super in the TCG set. No guaranteed supers in here, so I guess they did have to move some rarities around for that. So super SP is a little bit harder to pull than a regular super in the TCG, but it's still easier in the secret, I would guess. Okay, let me see what this said. Uh, does it give any info on here? One out of 33 cards randomly included. So 33 random cards. So I don't know if that's... That sounds like it would be the 14 Ultras, 14 supers, and then one other card is what it sounds like. So you can basically pull any card in there, which is pretty crazy. Autoic Daybreak, so nothing crazy there. Speaking of crazy, uh, Age of Overlord, big, huge set for us. Big, huge. This just sounds weird. Uh, Perform Palace Skull. Was this an Age of o Wait, Age of Overlord did was a core set, so it didn't have any reprints. That's an old card. Interesting. So are there like some reprints in here as well? I was kind of talking about this in the last Asian English video, which if you didn't see it, go check it out. 
but uh, I was considering like, look, the Asian English doesn't have a lot of the card pool printed in Asian English because they didn't have it available. Like it wasn't a actual line that they printed for a really long time. Line is that what we would call it? Like a, I don't know. It wasn't something that they kept up with, I guess I should say. So it was like you did it for, they did it for a few sets into like GX and they stopped doing it for a really long time. There we go. See, like this, this is from Maximum Crisis. This has random reprints in it too. Okay, I think that's what's going on. They're trying to catch up some of the cards that are missing, putting them in core sets. Very interesting, because those were definitely not in this set, I I think. Definitely like 99% sure. Age of Overlord. Can we pull something awesome? Can we pull something amazing? Shinobor Pigeon. We have the bulk prominent prominence. I can't read these rares. They're like very shiny, like, in like a weird way, like not overly shiny, but for some reason they reflect all the light and I can't, okay, I can read this one, Visa Samsara, but some of them I can't read. Let's see, we have the TG Mighty Striker. We have the Stars Align, the Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. So far, uh, I guess it just said coordinate. Wait, did it say ultis? Can you get an ulti in here? If you can get an ulti, that's pretty awesome actually. That actually changes everything. That makes us really cool. Cause like if the, if the Asian English gets, Ultis, I'm going to be pretty jealous. I should have read that. Well, I guess they did in creation back, but do that. Let me go back. All right. Another awesome part about these boxes, you can just rip this thing off. So as you can see, they do have ultis in here. Oh, that's so unfair. Where's the TCG? So I can just lay that over there for next time when I need to know. I really like how these boxes are. These are so cool. Man, why don't we get this cool stuff? I mean, you can. You can have it as well. Just check out Sassiato's link down below as an affiliate. But uh, and by us, I mean the TCG. I don't mean you're going to have to buy the Asian English product. But I'm assuming that, yeah, this is probably not playable in the TCG, right? Like if they, if they pulled it out of your sleeve and Rocket Salamander, that used, that was a secret for us. Uh, and it was an Asian English card. I'm guessing you would be uh, in big trouble. Probably not allowed to do that. UFO Light. Eye of Illusion. That's from Maze of Millennia, I think. Wow, there's a lot of random cards in here. Like a lot of these cards are not... Oh, Secret Full Armor Dark Knight Lance. That's a beautiful, look at the text, I like it. That's a beautiful card, Secret Rare, I'll take it, there we go. Yeah, it feels like half of these cards are from Age of Overlord and half of them are from something else, which is pretty strange, but it makes sense when you think about like they don't have a lot of the card pool and they're trying to add it back. So you can play every, you know, your entire deck in Asian English. Uh, the uh, Deidorantan, the Ooze Giants. And, ooh, Imzidi Glory of Horus. That is an actual Asian English card. Prismatic Ultimate Rare. That is amazing. Man, why don't we get these in core sets? That'd be so cool. All right, if that was an SP Little Knight, though, then we would have been freaking. But I th actually, SP Little Knight only comes in Super. So I think only, wait, let's go back to our, our trusty little thing over here. Ultras are available as ultimates, and then, oh no, the ultras and supers are available as quarter centuries and secrets. So no, we cannot get an ultimate SP Little Knight if it's originally a super, because they can only be a secret or a quarter century. Ultis can be anything, It's or ultras can be anything, it seems like. They can be all three. So you really actually want your card to be an ultra to have all the, uh, there's the Zhanglao, to have the possibility of the high rarity. It's a little bit harder to pull though, I would guess. I actually don't know the pull rates. For OCG, they're probably a little bit different. Let's see what we end up with. We have TG Limit Removal. All right, Age of Overlord. Let's see what you got. Give us an SP Little Knight. I, I was talking about how it'd be easier to pull. Volcanic Emperor, that's Legendary Duelist. See, look, that's what I'm saying. We don't need those Legendary Duelist sets. Soul Burning Volcano, getting burned already. Um, but yeah, it's got, oh, see one, it is a super rare. This is a secret that's like over a hundred bucks last I checked in the TCG. We pulled it as a super rare. So I was saying, yeah, it'd be weird if I didn't pull like, you know, oh, hey, it's so much easier to pull and then we don't pull it. But we pulled one of the big cards and that's one of the secrets that are one every few boxes to even get one. You probably get like less than three per case on average. And uh, the TCG, we have performed about five rainbow magician. I don't know where that card's from. It's a pendulum card, so. Yeah, whatever. No, don't care about it. We have the Seed Spitting Saplings. Sinful Spoils of Betrayer Silvera. Lots of packs. Lots of packs. Here we go. Can we get something good? We have the TG Rocket Salamander. That got a secret. That's normally a super rare. So supers can be secrets and quarter centuries, according to our trusty little cheat sheet over there, which is really awesome. Odd Eye Seer. We have the Perform Power Fine Rainbow Magician. Again, we got two of those. The thing I like about this is it really just spells it out. It's like, this is what can be what, this is where you can pull, and it like really makes it interesting. You're like, okay, I know that I can get this as this rarity. Oh, I don't have to question it or anything. Drop the cards. Let's see what we got. Supreme King V Arc. That's definitely a Maximum Crisis card because you pulled it a lot. We once opened 100 special editions of Maximum Crisis for Ash Blossom. We pulled a lot of those Z Arcs. We have the Volcanic Rimfire. 
dangerous one. Okay, Age of Overlord, no SP Little Knight so far. And look, that would be disappointing if they're super and you still don't get it. The thing is, there's 18 supers, so you're not guaranteed a super. It's actually pretty hard to pull a super rare if you think about it. The good thing is there's a super, there's the prismatic secret, and there's the quarter century. So there's three different versions, so it makes it a little bit more likely. But I'm assuming you get more supers than ultras, but otherwise there's less ultras. So it's like, you know, there's more likely chance if you pull an ultra that you get it. We have the uh, Ogdoetic Overlord. Sure, sure, why not? Can you bless us with an SP Little Knight? Quarter Century would be pretty amazing. We're probably, we're definitely into the second box, I would say. Definitely in the second box. No Quarter Century Seeker Rare. We got a monkey board. We have a Gaia Prominence. And look, we might not get one in today's video, but the giveaway, there is a full box you guys can win. Maybe you guys will pull it. Make sure you guys check that out by entering that giveaway. Also, make sure if you have not, check out Sassiato down below with my affiliate link and grab something if you want to support the channel. Snake Eyes, Flame Bird, Dragon. I appreciate if you guys do that. Helps us get more product. Here we go. Let's see what we can get. Volcanic Blaze Accelerator. We got UFO Light. XC's Armor Torpedo. Got the ooze giant seed spitting saplings can we get another oh i was gonna say another ulti and i think we did it is an effect monster so no sp oh wait can't be anyway we already talked about that oh dia bell star the black witch i know rhyme style will be excited about this one he is a dia bell star fan there we go that is a really nice prismatic ultimate very nice shout out rhyme style formerly uh formerly a daily youtuber now he has retired to uh to every other day i mean <laughs> come on like come on Every other day. I mean, I can't even imagine. I'm just kidding. He did 10 years in a row. 10 years of daily uploads. I've done over three now. We've made it past three. And wow, that is a long time. That's over triple what I've done so far. And it feels like I've been doing it for forever. So yeah, he, he's. Uh, I think he's enjoying taking a little, little time uh, to not be doing that every single day. Which like, the thing is doing a video every other day is still a lot of work. But when you, when you compare it to... Uh, every every day it feels like you're like he probably feels like he's just doing nothing at this point he's just relax okay that sounds wrong but like just like relaxing you know like oh this is great okay yeah because uh you know even when you have everything ahead it's just like you still got to worry about the the upload and like make sure it's ready and like oh there's the thumbnail on there did i do the title and everything and like it just yeah and then even if you've done all that stuff you got to make sure it's it actually uploads right and all that stuff so if you don't even have an upload it's like ah it's great. I mean, I don't remember what that's like. It's been a while, but yeah, it's pretty great. So I don't last few. I don't know how we got on that tangent about rhyme. Oh, yeah, because we pulled the D-Bell star. Let's see if we can pull a quarter century in honor of rhyme style who, uh, you know, one day I'll get him to open more more Yu-Gi-Oh packs. I, well, actually, he has been opening a little bit recently. Thanks to the uh, OCG product. Shout, shout out to the OCG product, which is what we're doing right now. But more of the, the actual Japanese stuff with the uh, new Dark Magician girls and stuff like that. Shout out to those being super, super amazing recently and exciting. OK, well, another one. So we got two ones we haven't gotten an SP. The whole point is to pull an SP. I guess it's not that much easier, even if it's a super. So here's the thing, like you don't do guaranteed supers. Pulling supers isn't that easy. So for all you guys who are like, everything's high rarity. I want it to be lower. And look, unless you do like guarantees, like guaranteed supers and that it's not going to work. Skull Crow by Joker, because look, we've opened 56 packs. We haven't gotten one. So, you know, there's always the randomness is always going to come in and be rough. So sorry, Dragon. Three packs left. Age of Overlord. I'm hoping we can get at least one, right? Two wanted is pretty good. So that is helping a little bit. Infernal Flame. Well, the good thing is maybe your box that you guys went in the giveaway has the SP Little Knight. We have the, this thing was like a secret for us, wasn't it? Or was that the other one? I don't know. I thought, it, I think there was two secrets. And I thought this was the crappy one. Exceed the Pendulum. And theirs is a common. Okay. Or a normal, I should say. Last pack match. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Check out Sassiato down below with the affiliate link. Let's see if we can pull an SP Little Light in the last pack or a quarter century or something. Come on. Invasion Alien Species. We've got TG Midas Striker. Realm Eulogy. Amazing Pendulum. And we have... Oh, my goodness. That... Oh, SP Little Knight. It's a super, but it's still hard to pull. Shout out to Tom and Fosho, Puffin Zudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Another Side Show, Ian Moose, Junior Barney, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Cheng Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.